welcome back to the Investor Coaching TV show. We're going to talk about your mind. We're going to play a little head games here with you right now on the Investor Coaching TV show. I want to talk about how the investor mind works. There's a little chart that I like to show at some of my workshops, and it looks something like this. It's got a picture of a head with the different parts of the brain. We have three different parts of the brain that I want you to be familiar with. One is a cognitive part. We're going to call that C. We're going to look at your instincts, the I part of your brain, and the E part of your brain. Now, cognitive is what we know, our logic, that type of thing, you know, our reasoning, our intelligence. Our instincts are how we react to things, our intuition, our survival mode. You know, we go into survival mode when we feel threatened. And also emotions. We have different emotions that we deal with. Trust, fear, greed, those types of things. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. The formula that I like to share with people is this. I plus E is greater than C. You know, it's, it's a funny thing, but what ends up happening is our instincts and our emotions tend to overtake our cognitive mind, what we know. And what happens is investors tend to make a lot of mistakes because our instincts and our emotions drive the bus. That's why it's so important to become educated. I'm going to talk more about that in just a second. As an investor, is how we do that. What we've got to do is we've got to build up the cognitive part of our minds, what we know, how we understand things. Because as I always say, we tend to fear that which we don't understand. What happens is the things that we should know, what are they? Well, number one, one of the things we ought to know is we own equities. We talk about that all the time. Own stocks. Make sure you invest in the stock market. Why? How? What should we know about those types of things? We need to know how to diversify our portfolio. This is one of the rules of investing. Diversify. A third rule is buy low, sell high. Okay, this is pretty easy, right? Three rules. We just need to do this. Own equities, diversify, buy low, sell high. Well, it's kind of like losing weight, isn't it? If you think about it, if I want to lose weight, it's just as simple. What do I do? Eat less, move more. Yet I go to the bookstore and I see shelves upon shelves upon shelves of books about how to lose weight. And I find dieting programs and I see people yo-yoing up and down in weight. It's not as easy as it seems, is it? Because it's not just about rules. It's about our instincts and our emotions. Why do investors fail and people gain weight? Well, it's because what we know is overridden by what we feel and how we behave. That's really what it gets down to, folks. Our I plus our E is, being, is overcoming our C is really what's going on. Our instincts and our emotions are overcoming what we know. Now, what are some of the instincts that we need to be thinking about as investors and protecting ourselves against? Well, survival instinct, when you have pain, what do you do when you've got pain? I run from it. Get away from it. What kind of things are painful? Well, number one, you might think of hunger as painful, right? You might think of cold as painful. I want to get out of the cold. You might think of heat or loneliness or something like that as being painful. We want to stay away from those types of things. We want to stay away from pain. Now, the other side, we got pleasure, right? You know, one of the things we want to move toward. We want to move toward eating because it makes us feel good, right? We want to move toward love and safety. That's, that's what feels good right there. We want to move toward warmth. Okay, so pleasure is something we want to move toward. Now, in the investing world, how does this all apply? Let's say we've got an investment statement at the end of the year 2000, and we see our government bonds are up 21%. Now we get our statement that says small stocks are down 13%. Okay, what's going on here? Well, we got lots of pleasure right here, right? We got lots of pain over here. What do we want to do? We want to move toward pleasure. So maybe we buy more bonds. Well, what happens? By moving away from this, we miss out on a 34% return. So we actually shot ourselves in the foot by going with our instincts on this deal. Now, what about emotions? How's that play in? Well, we got all kinds of emotions. You know, let's say that somebody says, it doesn't matter how sophisticated the charts are or how much sense he makes, I just don't feel comfortable letting him manage my portfolio. Well, what emotion are we dealing with right there? Mistrust. Or, I'm not sure if I should put my money in that fund. It's already lost 15%. I think I'll sell some of it tomorrow. Well, that's regret. How about this emotion right here? My boss got 25% on his money. I only got 8%. Gosh, I wish I had 25%. What's that? It's envy. How about this one? I wish I knew that stock was going up. I would have bought more. Now that's greed. And the final one, my dad worked on that company all his life and left his money to me in his will. It'd be wrong to sell it. Now we're dealing with loyalty. Well, actually, there's one more. I lied. 
What if the election goes wrong and I lose it all? That's what I'm hearing all the time right now. What if I, oh my goodness, the election, what if it doesn't go my way? That's fear. All of these are emotions that tend to cause you great distress. And the media, TV, you know, maybe your text messages, or people, and the talking pundits on TV are talking about all of these things, and they are playing to what, folks? Your instincts and your emotions. And they have, they have a vested interest in you taking action based on what they're telling you. What are some of the things that you should be thinking about? Well, number one, folks, ignore the news. It's not going to help you be a more successful investor. Review your financial plan on a regular basis and educate yourself as an investor through this TV show and my radio show and attending regular workshops on investing. I hope you enjoyed today's Investor Coaching TV show. If you've got questions, email me at tv at paulwinkler.net and we'll catch you next week right here. Are you frustrated that the task of investing for retirement is so complicated? Wouldn't it be great to work with professionals who are required to keep your interest first? Does this exist? Yes. Call Paul Winkler, Inc. at 851-1950 for a free initial consultation on your retirement planning. When you call for an appointment, we'll send you our informative investor awareness guide. Call today and escape the investment sales game. 851-1950. If you are looking for a better understanding on how to invest and what it means to invest, then you need Above the Maddening Crown, an incredible book by Paul Winkler. You'll learn how the market works, what kind of stocks, bonds, and other investments you should have as part of your investment plan, are things different now, and so much more. Endorsed by economics professors and leaders in the financial industry as a must-read into the world of investing, buy a copy today at Amazon.com or PaulWinkler.net.